Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm going to be sharing a particularly fun study with me with you. Just because the assessment I'm working on isn't just writing focused, this one I filmed over half term whilst I was working on a group project for my Dickens module. I love the premise of this project and think more modules should use assessments like this because it's just such an interactive way of learning and really brings the content into contemporary discourse. So I'm working on a presentation deck here and I'll just explain the project a little bit whilst I'm doing this. So we were tasked with creating a Charles Dickens outreach project, making Dickens more accessible for the wider public and showing why he remains relevant today. We could choose absolutely anything and we're encouraged to be creative, which is amazing and uh, my group ended up designing a Dickens themed escape room. We did a load of market research looking at how escape rooms can aid education and there's actually a load of really interesting writing on this, like it wasn't something I was aware of before. There's this guy called Scott Nicholson in the States who's kind of the leading expert on escape rooms and has written on how they can be used in the classroom to make learning much more interactive and immersive and actually after having done this project I am a massive proponent of that. I mean I think like education has to be fun, it has to be exciting and especially with young kids we want to make it as fun and engaging as possible so we did all of that research and then we basically designed a fully functioning escape room which was so much fun to do we put together all of the clues and made sure each of them was actually teaching something about charles dickens in victoria london Making very good headway actually. Um, I've been working on this for a couple hours. I've actually got a meeting with a seminar leader to discuss an essay in seven minutes. So I'm gonna quickly plan that. So when I have a meeting, I literally just plan it on Notion and like write up the notes here. And so it's in my calendar and I can just add to it. I didn't add anything for this meeting though, which is quite unusual for me. <laughs> As I say, I just made some quick notes of questions I wanted to ask and things I wanted to bring up. And then I actually had that meeting. It was on Teams and um, it was honestly so helpful. I really, really recommend making the most of your seminar tutors if you're preparing for essays. And I walked away with some really, really good feedback points. So I'm really glad that I did that. So this morning I was working on the press room, which was supposed to teach our players about the free press and also the obsession with work in Victorian London. So um, Thomas Carlyle's Sign of the Times was published in 1829 and said that the world had, quote, been lost through individual and institutional self-interest, cupidity, blindness and rigidity. Carlyle was basically writing on how People were becoming obsessed with work and Dickens' books recognised that middle class workers were alienated from their work. For example, we have Scrooge and Dombey and we see this brilliant line in Sketches by Boz where he describes the middle-aged men whose salaries have by no means increased in the same proportion as their families plod steadily along, apparently with no object in view but the counting house. This quote could just as readily be applied to like our workaholism culture today where the first question we ask anyone is not how are you or what's your name it's usually what do you do you know what is your job I went out on a walk after that and I loved looking at all of the pumpkins it felt so autumnal I literally love October so much And then when I got back, we'd made an example video of one of the videos that would play in the escape room. And I also had to make this as small a file as possible. So I reduced the image quality because it wouldn't upload to the submission site otherwise. And this was my full to-do list for things I needed to get done on the Dickens escape room. Everyone in my group had filmed a intro video just running through our goals for the project and why we decided to do an escape room. I just edited this using some images and 
um, textual examples to um, make it more engaging. Video is such a good idea when doing presentations because it just does, it just is an engaging format and you can get so much information in a really short space of time as well, which I really like. Then in the evening, it was my grandma's birthday, so we went around to my grandma's house. So then here we are on the next day. So the first thing I did in the morning was create this slide explaining print cultures in the Victorian period and how newspapers were printed, which is really cool. So um, they used letter presses if you were interested. And then we were going to have some passages from Dickens books like dotted around the rooms. And so I just got out my books and took some photos of the passages which we were going to look at. I just use my Apple Pencil to circle specific bits as you can see. And then after that, because the print culture's context was quite complicated and difficult to explain, I actually decided to make a video running through it and so I just recorded the voiceover for that. This next room will introduce visitors to the letterpress. And then, this is a bit random for me to include, but I went up to London in the afternoon. Like, I had no plans. I just wanted to wander around London and be a bit spontaneous. I walked around for a really long time, not really doing anything, but just enjoying the atmosphere of London. And I, of course, had to go to Hatchards, which is my favorite bookshop. It's actually the oldest bookshop in England. I also went and got some tea and did some writing, which was lovely. I went to the National Gallery and then in the evening I went to the theatre by myself to see the Asian at the end of the lane. I've never been to the theatre by myself and it was such a cool experience. All in all, it was a really nice day and I just wanted to share it with you. Then here we are on the next morning. I just started off with some porridge. Porridge is my favorite breakfast. I just think porridge is such a great start to the day. It really keeps you full and it's delicious as well. This morning I made a pumpkin porridge. Then I did some more work on the project. I was doing some research into Victorian doorbells here and here is a Victorian doorbell if you're interested. I also just printed out these pictures um, because I was creating a social media page for the Dickens Escape Room just as an example of our marketing strategy and I wanted to use some of these pictures for the photographs and content for the social media page. I used this newspaper clipping generator as an example of an article which, which the visitors would make. And then I was just recording these bits on my iPad, like screen recording, the explanatory video for the printing press that I told you about before. As I was saying things on the voiceover, I was just writing them 
on the iPad screen um, just because it seemed like the most engaging way and the easiest way to relay this information. Then I went on another walk. Look at these gorgeous alpacas, aren't they wonderful? I just love the countryside so much. I'm just creating a logo at the moment. And then I was doing some more work for the social media page that I told you about. Thank you so much as well. I literally am so, so grateful because I put something on my story asking if people would mind going and following the page and 3000 people went and followed it, which was so unexpected and kind. And thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. I made some reels and posts and story slides and posted these on the social media page. And I actually really want to post more educational Victorian content on this account, actually, if that's something you'd like to see, because I do find the Victorians fascinating. I love that they have informed so much of daily life today. The beginnings of kind of modern 21st life I think comes from that period. That so many of the issues that Dickens is engaging with are so relevant still today. Like child poverty for example. The Child Poverty Action Group estimates that 4.5 3 million children in the UK are still living in poverty, which is shocking. And we see Dickens coming up in like political cartoons still. Um, he, like he is very, very relevant. He's such a major part of the public con consciousness. Uh, and I would really recommend you reading Dickens if you've never read him before. So in all of those clips, you, you could see me doing last minute bits and pieces. And here I was just doing the final like marketing deck. Um, I was just doing last minute work on some more of the slides. Uh, kind of, we did peer review. So the slides that other people had worked on in the group, we all went over each other's and made edits and suggestions, uh, which was um, really good for making sure everything tied together as well. Uh, but thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was interesting. I really enjoyed studying for this project and it was also cool to kind of film a study with me where it was slightly less conventional. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a productive week.